I have been dragging this thing for so long. Just a little update on the C6. Here are the brakes, the pads, uh, front rotors, back rotors I should get today. But today it's all about the truck though because I have been neglecting the truck so bad. So I need to put the swing case back on. And also, let's spend some time with the truck. Look at how foggy it is. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog again, Maddie here as always. So if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, which is not easy and I need your help. I cannot do by myself. My job is to put as much content as I can and your job is just subscribe and like down below. I told you guys I have a lot of stuff to get done to this truck to bring up to my stance. So the truck has been sitting for a long time and so let's get a, a the big girl a wash because it has been a while and i want to you know take care of the swing box and a few other things that i'm going to show you guys along the way so by the door i want to give a good wash on the uh frame itself i need to attach my uh, my wind buster thing because I don't know, here's fine, but it's not fine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a link in the description below. This uh, gets rid of the throttle lag, uh, but I want to mount it some, some, some place better than this one. That's why it's still there. Uh, cold start. Yeah, from the cab is not that loud. By the way, a lot of people ask me about the next project. And to be honest, I think you guys would be more excited about truck. It seems you guys are more excited about a car project. Which I'll take it. My speedometer is too off a little bit because I never. That's my bad though. I should have done that before, but I never did the calibration, if you will, uh, on this thing because the calibration it's very simple. But if you ever need a calibration, if you take your truck, your car to uh, you know uh, uh, an oil change on a dealer or something like that, you can you can always ask them to do. Takes like a plug and play thing, and to be honest, I think my fixed OBD reader can do it. Uh, oh, we'll see. Ah, right, here we go. So I'm I'm in sport. I'm driving sport here, and you see, drive is straight. Today's a good day. It doesn't shake. <laughs> But it shakes after 55 though. It's shaking a little bit, but not that bad. I normally get like questions about the rough country lift kit and I did a review. I might do another one because it has been a while. Uh, but yeah, I still get a lot of squeaking noise from the the, the lift itself. I guess it's the, it's the chocks and bushings, uh, which I don't know what you can do about it. Uh, I would try to reach out to rough country to see if they can, you know, we can partner something and do something about it. Maybe get our different shocks and see how that goes. But I'll keep you guys posted. And we got here a car wash. This one at least doesn't have sound, which is great for video purpose. And this one has a, a hot dryer, which is perfect. So I'm gonna give her a wash and we take from there. probably do something here we're gonna fix uh, the swing box and also some minor stuff so garage here we go the first thing I want to do is to take care of this uh, I think I gotta remove this uh, bed rug and put the or the bracket for the swing box underneath of it so I'll give it a try and we'll see uh, those are the self screws that comes with it 
right? You see here, uh, yeah, it's not gonna work anymore unless I drill a little bit like lower or higher, but I don't know the clearance. The back ones, I should be able to put it back on. Yeah, they fit really snug, see? This should be here, right? And then make holes on my my cover. So I'll try to figure something out. Maybe I'll put like different holes. I have different screws. <laughs> The reason why I went ahead and put on, I just put like a bit like larger screws. Uh, see, it's not going anywhere now. Uh, it's because if I cut the rug here, it's gonna get dirt inside of the bed and it can create moist. So I might as well just leave it the way the way it is. Now let's test fit. Oops, sorry. Now, one thing I want to do that has been a while is this. <laughs> what do you guys think without this? the spare tire look at that all that room uh i took a shield too there was a shield there and yeah my rock lights are on i don't know why but they are looks pretty cool pretty clean right i clean it up all the rush i do this once a year like with undercarry <laughs> so that's the shield i was talking about that i took it off if you guys are new to the channel that that spare tire doesn't fit on that truck if you want to lift your truck that's it you need a, a, a tire of that size to be your spare i don't have it which is quite kind of a risk i know i'm sure once i drive without that baby there which even though it doesn't fit something is gonna happen i keep you guys posted yeah i clean all the rust there you see the yellow you see it's from that light there see there's a light there it's not yellow at all so it's pretty black here too clean it up really nice the truck's pretty clean now. We are getting everything done to her though. So the wrap, I remove it because it was bad. I'll ask Junior to help me with that because he's way better than I am. One thing I need to figure out is this thing here, right? Uh, I have no idea where to put. All right, boys, look at that. And I put it back in my uh, gauge from also from wind booster. So if you can, if you wanna either of those, there's a link in the description below for. But look at the setup now: clean light bar, throttle control, my gauge right there, looking mean. Let me put in some tire shine, and we're gonna see how the everything works out. I have like three types of tire shine: this one, this one. And the other one which is already outside i don't know i we i'm gonna finish this one here just because i don't want to burn through my other one She's clean, she's clean. Man, I needed to do this. You guys know I do this uh, before every winter. I just push a little bit to do earlier. Look at that. Whoa. Look at the wheels. Whoa, whoa. So let's go over to the things I did, right? Well, first of all, we fixed my swing box. I cleaned the bed cover. So I, I remove this, I will leave this up to Junior because he's the man for this. Uh, I think I have the vinyl, so I just need his labor. Junior, if you will watch, I'm coming, buddy. We remove the spare tire, dude. Look at how clean it is. For all the haters, the semi-truck is very rusted. Eh. 
think you're wrong. Uh, of course, here super super clean as well. Look at that, super clean. Man, I'm so happy. Long time I need to do this. Look at this, super super clean. Super super clean. Look at this, how shiny it is. Yeah, I finally got the truck where I want to be. Now, the only thing I need to get ready for the winter is, you know, if I should protect the wheels. I'm not talking about ceramic coat because 100% junior can do that for me, but I'm talking about something else, which I don't know what it is. Plastic, maybe. I also fixed, say hi to my dog, little doggy Mia. Say, say, say hi to the vlog. I'll put my phone here. A lot of people ask me about this phone. This is uh, not the phone, the, the mount. It's Pro USA Clip, so I'm not getting paid to say that, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the wind booster, as I showed, was here, and I put the gauge right there, so when I'm driving, I can see there. Uh, I have it now as boost, but I'm gonna change it. I need, you need to play a little bit more. If you guys wanna see more, there's a video that I review uh, that gauge right there, so I think it's pretty mean. Where, where it's sitting there and that's pretty much it dude i'm so happy that i finally got so many things done to the truck let me know if you think i should get something else done here on the truck for the winter but it, that truck looks mean right i'm telling you you need to do things that make you happy with whatever you have I want a diesel truck, 100%, but I can't afford now, not yet, but I will. I hope you guys enjoyed today's upload as always. Make sure to subscribe, we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I know you're gonna hear every single video because I gotta push a lot of people watching my videos and they are not subscribers. So I really appreciate if you can subscribe and hit that like so that you can help the channel, right? When we hit 10,000 subscribers, Something special is gonna happen, but I need your help first, right? I'll see you guys next upload. Never forget, enjoy your life and work hard for it.